It's 8.15. Do you know where your students are? Troy Meyer here with Nick Smelko bringing you your first morning announcements. First one of the year. Wow. Big guys on campus now, you know? Yeah. Not a very eventful summer. No, not really. Got the new Blazers, though. New yep, addition to the That's about uh, the only thing that's the changed. Yep. And the staff's a lot better. Yeah. Only five of us now. So. Yep. All right. First off, check out the Squire at www.squirenews.com. See the website for regular updates of EHS events and follow us on social media. Smelko, give us the club we got news. Some, we got some club news now for you. All sophomores, if you're interested in being an officer for your class, you have to write a one paragraph explanation as to why you should be nominated for president, vice president, treasurer, or secretary. Wow. Thinking about doing that? A little too late for us now, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you'll have to submit your paragraphs to Mrs. Hunt in room C105, which is Mrs. Brady's old room, by Friday, September 22nd. Voting will take place the following week. Uh, they will be working towards gathering money for prom, so if you're interested in helping out with that, contact, get the paragraphs in as soon as you can. Uh, Club Crossroads will be meeting next week, Monday, September 18th, in Mrs. Hunt's room, which is C105, at 7.30. Officers, please see Mrs. H Mrs. Hunt before then so they can plan the meeting out. Key Club meeting, Wednesday, September 20th, Mr. Huback's room during home room. Anyone in grades 9 to 12 interested in joining are invited to attend. Make sure you sign out of your homeroom first, though. Also, Battle of the Books. Ooh, sign up. Yeah, it's happening now. Grades 9 to 12 should sign up with Miss Walter in the library. Grades 6 through 8 should sign up with Mrs. Livingston in C203. I believe that's upstairs. Probably. Yeah. All right, what do we got now? Oh, news from the guidance office. SAT testing students interested in the S taking the SAT need to check out in the guidance office door for registration and test dates. Um, registration is done online using a credit card. You don't have to be a senior to test and you can retest to update your scores. Penn State Barron will be having open house on Saturday, October 14th from 9 a.m. to noon. To register, go to barron.psu.edu slash visit or call toll-free 866-374-3378. All juniors and seniors, please turn in your permission slips for the college fair to guidance office as soon as possible. Ooh. They must be turned in on time to be able to attend. Rosters must be sent to the transportation and the nurse must view and approve each permission slip. All right, Smelko, will you be attending the old college fair? Well, you know, if it gets me out of uh, English, I'll be there. Yeah, AP English from this aisle. Not a fun I don't have time. That. I don't no. have that. Too. It's a lot I have of work study now. halls instead yeah. of those AP classes. Yeah, well, uh, college rep visits are for juniors and seniors only who are interested in the particular colleges. Sign-up sheet is in the guidance, and students must sign to attend. Uh, Mercerus Northeast will be visiting October 13th at 9.15 a.m., <laughs> Edinburgh will be here October 16th at 8.30. Teal College, October 17th at 9.30. The Indiana University of Pennsylvania, wow. October 25th at 8.30. The alma mater of Ruth Meyer. The Ruth Meyer. The Ruth Meyer. And the University of Pittsburgh Titusville, November 2nd at 1 p.m. Wow. So, Lots of know. good colleges there. You don't know where you're going to college. Sign up for one of those. Scholarships. See Guidance Office for scholarship opportunities. Blackwood Music Scholarship is available online at www.blackwoodarts.org. The deadline is February 1st, 2018. Log on for more details in the application. Athletic news. Well, well we don't really have we any. We don't really have any, no. I mean, I know that's kind of the best part of the show. But, uh, yeah, we don't really Football have team that. doing... Okay, a little, a little rocky start. Yeah. Soccer team. I'm just sorry if you're on the soccer team. Volleyball team. Just Volleyball had a team big, win, big against win against Youngsville. Last week. Shout out to the uh, anyone in the student section I know of. Both of your hosts were there, so. It was pretty rowdy. We got pretty loud, I'd say.
Maya Edwards here with Wyatt Tucker. Right. Um, what is one thing that is positive about coming back to school this year? Uh, getting to see my friends. I didn't see a whole lot of them over the summer. Okay, thank you. Jinung here. What's one positive thing about being back into school? Being able to see all my friends again because I lost my phone over the summer and then I didn't get to talk to any of them. <laughs> um, night walking here with Ben Campbell. What's one positive thing about coming back to school? I guess the one positive thing I could actually think of would be seeing friends people we haven't seen for a while. All right, thank you. Yep. Well, that's it for your morning announcements. Troy Meyer here with Nick Smelkup. Stay classy, Eisenhower.